What it is, guys, it's your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming back at you with more Don Machi. Now, today we're talking about a couple of things, but first we're going to start off with our free gacha, because there's a free gacha available today. Hopefully you saw that earlier. Uh, it is an 11 draw. Uh, rates on this should still be up, so maybe we'll get some fire on this. Though it's not guaranteed. Nothing on this banner is guaranteed, so this is 100% free three star, or yeah, free draw. I don't even think the three star is guaranteed on the last one, is it? I don't remember. Anyway, it's a gold door, so we're going to get at least a three star. What's up, girl? I'll take that. Now, I've not watched the new episode yet. I am going to watch it here in just a few minutes. But let's just see what we pull here. And we'll talk about Soma, what Soma does here in just a moment. Make a decision whether you want to actually hit this banner or not. But it's free gotcha, man. We never turn down a free gotcha. Hold up. What kind of person are you? You turn down a free 11 draw. So... Nothing really coming to this one. As much as I say the rates are up, it doesn't seem like it. So, I guess the last one, isn't it? Would make sense. Oh, no, one more. Damn, I was really hoping. Alright. So, Dionysus, and then that's it. Yep. Only even got two th or three, th three, three stars out of that. Oof. Oof. Alright, everything at this point on is paid. Now, Apollo was hype. Apollo was mad hype. So maybe, maybe he will be too. I don't know. Let's take a look. Now, not these units are not time uh, time limited. So you will be able to use prism bonds on them. And, um, you know, they're around the whole week. Uh, I, I meant to do more, more uh, summons on Apollo, but I still haven't pulled enough Argonauts yet. So he's really been my number one. Alright, so what does Soma do? Uh, again, he's an assist. Uh, at level 60, he is penetration rate minus 20% for foes and a 10% HP regen for allies, 30% penetration for foes, and 15% HP regen for allies. That's not bad. Um, I don't think that's as hype as... Uh, that's that's a, a pretty good one for Record Buster. Probably a really good one for the for the new Minotaur, and we'll talk about the Minotaur here in a little bit. But on this video, on this video, I do want to talk about Record Buster because level six is here. But I gotta be real; like, I think honestly, level four is about where my team is at. If I am honest, my score on this hasn't been that great, and I realize I've made a couple of really unfortunate mistakes while I was running this one. This is actually one of the easier ones. You should be taking this apart. Now, there is a level 6 on this, and the higher the level you go, the better your rewards. But because my Lene doesn't have any dupes, she kind of winds up getting taken apart in the higher levels. So for now, I'm not really worrying about it. I'm also going to recommend against using auto-equip, because the auto-equip tends to do stupid, stupid things. So first, I'm going to talk about the equipment I'm using on here. So I'm using the Behemoth Dagger on Luter Faust, because that's the best weapon for her at the moment. And it gives her extra HP. If you didn't craft the behemoth weapons or you're new to the game, hopefully they come back around because they're awesome. Okay? And I'm also giving her a breastplate because the breastplate gives her an extra 15% uh, guard guard resist, pretty much. Uh, not physical resist. She's 15% guard, so it's pretty handy. Krazo. Krazo, I'm doing something a little bit different. I've got his Bright Moon. That's his weapon. It's fully upgraded. It's 100%. Can't get any better than that. And I've got Glorious Anklet. Now, the reason I've got Glorious Anklet on here is because these things do different things. Some some do seal resist, some do poison, some do this, that, the other thing. Now, Ravis will seal, and so I don't want him sealed. I want to keep him from getting sealed, so we're going to do that. It's of epic, epic importance he not get sealed. Now, Lene is interesting. I've been using the Glorious Armor on her. I might change that out here shortly, but I find that on level 4, then yeah, she doesn't seal as much, so it's not that much of a liability. But it can be, and it has been. So, I don't know. I'm in debate. But right now, I've got the, the Behemoth staff on her. Remember, Behemoth weapons give them extra HP. And I've got the Glorious Armor. Glorious Armor also gives her extra HP because you notice she has no dupes. She's not even plus 1. She has nothing. And because of that, she's going to get eaten alive eaten alive in these later ones okay so you notice all my assists actually have um 
Yeah. All my assists have... Uh, they're all plus five. They all have really good stats. That's kind of going to be important in here. Okay? Now, uh, I do kind of like this Artemis, but I really need more in her because her stats just kind of don't... They really just don't add up, unfortunately. Okay? Everyone else kind of seems to hold their own. So... You'll see what I mean when we get in there. And Argonaut, finally. Now, I'm going to play attention to the first four mostly because I don't really need the other two to come in. So, I'm using Thunderfire and, once again, Glorious Anklet on him because, once again, seal resistance. These two are going to be critically important to not getting sealed. So, let's jump in and let's see what we can do here. Now, I'm going to have to undo Auto Battle real quick. Auto Battle undone. All right, so Ravis is going to charge up here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by doing an agility minus 20% for four turns. It's not critically important that. It's just it's going to reduce the, uh, basically how fast she's going to respond to, to attacks. Um, it's not even that important for the first few attacks, so I might not, might, not, might, might not keep it in place for later runs, but at the same rate... By turn four, she's, actually, she's going to start doing damage. First three turns, she does nothing. Nothing. But I've got a secret to that. That's going to take her absolutely apart. Okay? I'm going to go pure casting. Krozo's going to get pure casting. Pure casting is uh, basically physical resist and fire resist. Uh, minus 25% for two turns. But we're going to keep that in place the whole game, and I'll show you how. The physical resist isn't that important because she already has a uh, physical resist down 130%. Or is she getting that? I think she gets that, maybe. Okay. And we're going to do Enlightenment. Fast. Uh, it's, a, it's a fast attack. It's the SA gauge increased by 33% for four turns. So that SA gauge is going to go up. Basically, if we, keep, if we do an attack every time, every time that Lena's... Uh, sorry, Lena... Lina isn't healing, then our SA gauge is going to go up by 132%. That's nice. That's very nice. And that's a clutch. Now, Argonaut. Argonaut, we are going to do self uh, strength and fire attack damage plus 50% for four turns. Okay? But once again, turns aren't going to matter with these guys. These units are crazy broken crazy broken. And I'll explain why. Okay? So it's a little dusty down here, and I think I got a hair or something on my face. It can't get it off, and it just itches like mad. So I might just need to... Probably from trimming. Alright. So let's go. Let's do this. Okay? Let's get throw destruction, all that. Now, if you're wondering, those of you that are familiar with this, why I'm not doing jolts, I'll show you why I'm not doing jolts here in just a moment. Alright. So that's this turn. So, notice she's weak to fire attacks. I didn't know, didn't mention that before. She is weak to fire types. So, the more fire units you can put on here, the better. That's why Krazo and Argonaut are uh, so important to this. Okay? Now, now I'm going to go in here and I'm going to do Spiral Strike. And the reason I'm going to do Spiral Strike is you see, Strength Boost and Status Debuff plus one turn. Basically, all her debuffs, every one of them, get refreshed every there's the physical resist minus 130 percent these all get refreshed for basically indefinitely so this is always going to stay one turn that's always going to stay three turns that's always going to stay three turns it's pretty hype okay so we're going to do that now with her that means her sa gauge uh is not going to be affected by this but we're going to talk about that here in a moment okay now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go uh, Strength and Magic minus 40%. That's Face Cutter. You'll notice that Jolts uh, is Strength, Magic, and Agility minus 30%. We already have an Agility minus on her. And this does Strength and Magic 40% instead of 30 So we're just going to go with the base attack on this one. Okay? And we already did the Agility boost. Or, the yeah, the Agility deficiency. We already have Physical Resist on her. So it doesn't matter. We're going to go just with a regular attack on that. Now, like I said, this is going to do the same thing, but a little better than Jolts. So let's do all this. Okay. 
And you'll see here, all those debuffs stay in place. Now, she does have some effects. Anything in red, it means that it's been affected. So, Dark and Thunder have been brought down by the assists. Uh, water, Wind, Fire, and Light are completely unaffected, and they'll stay unaffected unless you use an assist on them. The only unit, the only thing that's affected is, or uh, that's naturally down, is Fire Resistance. Down 30%, so you have to use Fire Types, but you have dropped it even more. But if we also go down here, all of those status debuffs are down loads of percentages, okay? Now, you notice all these are now good for two turns. That's pretty impressive and pretty important. Because now I'm going to do Vortex Flame. Vortex Flame is going to keep all status buffs in place. Anything that says, yeah, status debuff plus one turn. There's a couple units that do these each. But these guys, really, really important to that. Status debuff plus one turn. Basically, that's going to keep both the, both the debuffs and the buffs constantly. Basically, it's a free turn each every time you use that. So, so long as you're not sealed, those stay in place for the most part. There's a catch. We'll talk about that. Okay. Now, I'm going to go danger detection here. And this is going to remove all... No, I'm not doing that. I'm doing that next turn. So, I'll keep a base attack on her this turn. And I'm going to do a base attack this turn because we're not going to take any damage. So, we don't need any healing. Now, you notice we start chipping away at MP on Crozo and Argonaut. But we're also doing insane amounts of damage with them. So ain't worried about that. Okay? And it's turn four. We already have a super attack ready to go. And we're just building that gauge. So, I'm going to go ahead and do a... Uh, you know what? I'm not even going to do a heal. I'm going to go ahead and do an attack. Because we shouldn't get that much damage put on us. And so long as we don't get sealed. No, you know what? I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to play it safe. Because it's still 100% SA increase, so I'm not worried about that. And we are going to do danger detection. So that's going to be important. Notice, Spiral Strike and Vortex Flame stay in place. And all of our debuffs are still chilling. Okay? That's pretty important. Pay attention. Okay? So I'm going to keep... Let's just take a look here and see what happens. Did Lina do a special attack? Oh, that's right. I did healing on her. There we go. So, she did no damage. But this is this is then going to do a little bit. So I really didn't need to heal. It was just kind of a preventative measure. Now after this, I probably will need to heal. That's right. Because Lina gets hit hard. Okay? Now all those buffs and debuffs are still in place. Because we cast Spiral Strike. And we have kept Vortex Flame in place. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to just do a base attack on this turn. Because so long as she's got those debuffs, we shouldn't need it. And then I'm going to do a base attack on this this turn. Because all those strength buffs are gone. She shouldn't have any kind of strength buffs affecting her at the moment. Yeah. So, we should be fine. We should hopefully be fine. And once again, Spiral Strike and Vortex Flame are going to keep everything all golden for us. Okay? A little bit of damage taken. Not going to lose sleep over that. Uh, we should heal next turn, though. Definitely. Okay, so all debuffs still in place. We need to pay close attention to that every turn because I've seen her remove debuffs and I don't know how she did it or if maybe it was just an accident and I did something wrong. Okay, so we're going to do another heal. Counter rate should be up at all times, so that's good news. And I don't need to do anything with her because all her debuffs are still in place. And all I need to do is danger detection to keep the buffs out. So, I don't think she has any buffs still. Nope. So, that's good news. Because by uh, by turn 8, basically every 4th turn, she's going to do a super attack. And we need to take down those strength buffs every single time. In fact, I might just throw them on her just to keep these things from doing more damage. Because she's, she's starting to build up a decent amount of damage. And Lina is dead. So, I wonder if I had done that, if it would have helped us out. That's actually bad news. That's very bad news. So, Spiral Strike, we're going to go and... Let's see, that removes her status debuffs. See, all her status debuffs are gone. So, we have to rebuild them anyway. So, I can go in here and I can do... Uh, I can basically rebuild all this. I can give us HP regen. I can use that to give us that. All those status buffs are in place. The only thing I could, uh, I would want to do maybe 
is do physical resist, but I'm going to keep Vortex Flame in place to keep all of those buffs in place. Because I believe all these buffs... See, the counter rate up for 30%. That's going to go away shortly. Yeah, counter rate's the only one that's going to go away. So I guess I could do... I could do something crazy this turn. And unfortunately, we're not going to get a reset on the counter rate, so... But we need that. We need that. So I'm going to go ahead and do pure casting this turn in Awakening Spirits. And then we can actually go do... Let's see. So yeah, we'll have to do Jolts now. We'll have no choice but to do Jolts. So I think Jolts is going to be a little bit more important than Fire Resistance. Jolts is going to keep us alive. Fire Resistance is just going to kind of knock us down a little bit okay so we'll do that this turn okay now rampage beat I'm not really I don't think I've equipped her so I really was hoping Lena wouldn't die but again this is kind of one of those situations every time she gets an attack off she's gonna get an SA increase and we'll get a minor heal after every turn so that's good news there we go a little bit of a healing increase. So now we're going to go lock down those uh, all those buffs and debuffs. Everything should still be good for one turn. Yep. And so her agility will then be locked down for one turn. And yeah, see they have all got their buffs in place. Now I can buff her. And I'm going to do danger detection. Now this might hurt. This one I'm suspecting is not going to feel good. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I got to do danger detection on that, so there's no point. So she's been debuffed pretty pretty decently. Strength, magic, and agility are down. Uh, we don't have the 130% anymore because obviously she got rid of that. Um, so I've just got to get rid of all strength buffs here. That's going to help us take a little bit less damage. And this is going to keep all those buffs in place. So let's just see what happens. Now, the good news is this is going to keep that... Uh, ooh, that was a 100k hit. That was nice. Now, this is going to keep our uh, our heals in place. But I do think Tione is going to not make it through this one. And it'll be a question whether Lunar Faust will too. Okay? Nope. She's down. Okay? Now what I've got to do... Let's see. All those debuffs. Let's see. She's going to remove the debuffs after this turn. So it won't matter what I do here. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one more time. Yeah, I'm going to do this this turn. And then this next turn. And then do Spiral Strike after that. Because we've got to rebuild those debuffs after this turn. So I'm going to keep this in place. I'm going to see one more time if I can... Uh, if she has any strength buffs to remove still. Just by doing that. It's not going to cost me enough MP to really matter. And with Vortex Flames in place, we're going to keep all our healing in place. So that should be good stuff. Okay. Now the goal here is to build up the SA gauge to the point at which we've got everything going for us. Alright. One more time. Uncounter rate. Now I've, I've got to rebuild. At this point, I have to rebuild my deb her debuffs. Or she will take us ab- Absolutely apart. Let's see what the buffs look like though. Um, SA gauge, we're gonna lose the SA gauge increase, but that's okay. It's late enough in the game, we're not worried about that. Uh, the physical resist down, uh, that is a debuff and that will go away. It's, that's not important. So yeah, if we lose that, we're not we're not in too much. We're not in too much pain. Okay. So this turn, I'm gonna do jolts. Drop all that down. So then I could do that. Yeah, I'll do that this turn and then. Well, actually, his fire attribute damage is still up, so. I'm running a blank of what I did last turn now. Yeah, because that would have been turn nine. So we're going to do. Uh, 
I guess I did hear a rising last turn. I'm, <laughs> I lost track of what I was doing. That's the thing. You gotta keep track. You gotta pay attention. Uh, and I'm not good at that. Awakening Spirits. Okay. So he's gonna keep all that uh, all that damage, and then he's gonna get added the HP heal back to us. That's gonna be pretty important. Mikasa's gonna do her cartwheel attack. Actually, does she already have that? Yeah, her strength is up for three turns. So then we're gonna do this. Dark damage plus 60%. We're gonna keep Jolts in place. Helps do it in line too. And then we can actually do an AGL debuff on her. Well, do we need to do an AGL debuff? Yeah, so your physical resistance is down again, so... There you go. Her physical resistance debuff is going to work. So we're going to do the AGL debuff. And hopefully, this will do the job. Okay? Go, please don't get killed! I'm not doing half bad, though. We're keeping her, uh... Keeping her sort of at bay. Okay? Everyone gets a heal. And I can go lock down those debuffs here. And he's got everything in place. Okay? Now, everyone's status buff should be fine, so I'm going to go ahead and lock down the physical resistance too. So, everyone's... Nothing's running out this turn. Nope. Everything's good this turn. Mikasa looks fine. Uh, nothing's running out on him. And I'm not too worried about Lunar Faust. Yeah, but nothing's running... Really. Oh, she's sealed. That's okay. Uh... That means she's sealed next turn. So next turn, I've got to do my special arts, or I am in trouble. Okay? So she's got all of her buffs. So once she has all of her buffs, we can go ahead and do non-stop. Okay? We're going to do this. Let's reduce her, her resistance. Otherwise, I would do my special arts this turn, but I need that pure casting. So if Lunar Faust can do what she does this turn... Then we'll go back and we'll restore everybody's buffs and we'll be good. Okay. Here we are. We've maxed out our bars. Fantastic. That is what we wanted. Now. She's going to hurt us. Very badly. Very, very badly. Uh, debuffs are running out this turn. So. And since we didn't do anything to knock her down a bit. We're going to go ahead and and have to do our special arts. We're probably did after this turn, if I'm honest with myself. So, and either way, on turn 13, she's going to remove all the buffs anyway, and we won't have enough time to rebuild it. So, this is, whoever the survivor, what in the absolute happy horse? So whoever's the survivor of this uh, of this event here might get another super attack. We'll see. But we're getting triple special arts, and this could be a combo. I think it's a three-way combo, so let's see what happens here. All right. I'm really looking forward to seeing what they do as a three-way combo. Now, if I had had Lunar Faust and I'd had the fourth one, that, that would have been way better. But unfortunately, she got sealed, and that super sucks. So 126k. How much you can do? 146k. That's not so bad. I've seen better, but she's not so bad. All right. 104. So each one of them did one and a half thousand, hundred thousand. So. Let's see what they do collectively. Is that a million or is that 104k? I had to be a million. There's no way they only did 104k. All right. So if anybody survives this, we'll get one more. I don't suspect they're going to survive it because we really need Lunar Faust's uh, extra buff. There we go. Yeah, I kind of figured everyone was dead. So that, that removes strength buff. That's really necessary in that fourth turn every time. But we got 60 mil out of it. That's not too bad. That's pretty respectable. I could do better, and I'm going to have to go in and, and challenge myself to do a little better and upgrade some items and things like that. But that is... That's Record Buster, guys. 
Uh, now, the higher the level you run, that was only a level four, the higher the level you run, the greater the score is going to be. So I could probably run that at level five. We did some get level six of it, uh, 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 level six added, but because my cross was not MLB and because my um, items are not fully upgraded, that's out of the business, uh, completely out of the uh, state of anything for me. So maybe come Monday when this is starting to run out, we got three days left, so maybe come Monday I'll be able to actually finally do one of those. We'll see what happens. We may revisit this, but that's Record Buster, guys. If this is your first Record Buster, good luck. The key to Record Buster, make sure your weapons are absolutely upgraded 100%. Uh, we did a weapon video the other day, so refer back to that if you need any further help. And also make sure that a weapons, your weapons and armor are upgraded, but also make sure your unit is as far up the totem pole as they can be. Make sure they have, you know, max dupes, max everything, all that good stuff. That's going to be critical. So that's the video, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow the Birdman. Hit me up a Booker. I'll be back with more Damachi here in just a little bit. And the episode review. we got the episode review coming up, too. So stay tuned for that.